What's going on, everybody? Figure it's time to have a little bit of a different type of video and uh, show off my full beta set. We're going to take a look today and we're going to see, you know, everything that I have in this binder and uh, we'll go through some other things. So this is very hard to do with my camera set up and everything the way that it is. Um, but we're just going to kind of take a trip through. Uh, first, you're going to see all of the non-foils. Um, and I have this organized in the same way that is listed out on the sorcery page for collecting. So you can go and you can print like, you know, a sheet of beta to check everything off. So it's all organized in alphabetical order by type. So first it's alpha by um, air, then earth, then fire, then water, then artifacts, then sites, and then finally we have our avatars and, and extra cards. So we'll take a trip through. So as you can see, you know, everything's here. And uh, it's, it's one massive binder with everything. And, you know, I actually have space to put in misprints and, and other types of things that, that come up. So right now, you know, this is, this is pretty complete. Um, I think I'm about eight shy of uh, maybe seven shy of curios at the moment. And I'm actively, actively seeking those. Uh, some of the more difficult curios I'm missing are Water Castle. Um, but as you can see, this is this is a full non-summer set. I have summer and another one now. Artifacts things get really, really crazy up here, right? So we got all our orbs and cores and crowns and stones and uh, thrones and spears. We got everything, and we even got you know all the sites. Um, and this is all the non-foil. Um, I have. On top of this, these this is just what I would consider my master set. One of every possible card in beta. I have four play sets of cards that are essentially every possible combination you can make to put cards into a deck. So I've got four of those. So that's like a set plus two of el elites, three exceptionals, four ordinaries. And, uh, you know, one unique, obviously. You know, we get into the real fun, uh, fun sites here. We get into our avatars. We get into some of the promos over here. So we're gonna talk through this. We got our artist promo. This is kind of all well, the box topper. We have, um, we have the bone rabble. And then we don't have the box topper sorcerer here because it's a foil, it goes in the foil section. Bone Rabble promos, we got our Pudge Butcher, Dust Rewards, Waypoint Portal, Dust Rewards, Foot Soldier. We got, this is one of my, my favorites, picked this up off a fellow, I believe in, in Taiwan or maybe Singapore. Um, we're just going to take this out even though I don't normally do this. Fun one. So, I mean, I'm even starting to branch out and, and get some crimped and things like that as you can see. So, now, that's not necessarily a part of a master set, but I'm just literally trying to collect everything that I that I possibly can. We've got an additional Alchemy 9 just hanging out over here. We've got some tokens. I wanted to put the tokens in separate, and that takes us with extra pages for misprints and stuff like that. Now we get into the foils. we got the Highland Princess foil, as you can see. Falconer, Grandmaster, East-West. Grim Reaper. At this point, I've pulled every single foil possible in beta, with the exception of an Aquamarine Core, a Philosopher Stone, and a Backstab. Those are the only things that I've had to have had to acquire elsewhere at the moment. We got Lord of the Void. We got, you know, everything here. Full foil. Brows. We got the misprint. I put the picture here because the picture is kind of what belongs. We got the dream quests, we got the glass, we got literally, like I said, everything. And it's I, I really like the big binder because you can really lay it out and see it all. Crown Prince, um, we got the Valks, you know, the Druids. I have a sign foil Druids too, which is pretty awesome. Sign cards are kept separate. These are all just pristine cards. Our Crusades coming in, and then we get into the fire. Death Dealers, 
We got the Far East Assassins, the Imps, Infiltrates, Backstabs. Backstabs, another short print. Again, I've never actually pulled one. But I do have, I'd like to show you guys a little more too. I'll show it after we go through because I'm going to show you kind of a lot of my collection here. We have um, foils over here, ball to sair, roller, or into the water, water cards now. We've got their aqua, amethyst, aqua. Sometimes I haven't looked at the aqua one in a long time. Crown. We've got our onyx core over here, foil. And the cores are no joke, guys, if, you're, if you don't know. we got our ruby core. we got the boots, spear, you know, all the sights. These don't include the foil sights that I have in my decks either. So I have actually way more foil stuff than this, too. This just happens to be one of every one. Now we hit one of every avatar foil. Down to Pathfinder. Pathfinder's hard to find. And then we get into some promos that I have here. So... This over here is a misprint blank. You can see how it's a... Oh, sorry, you can't see. Take it out. It's a misprint of a misprint because... See how it's off-center? Not all of them are off-center like that. So I've actually... This is the second one I pulled. The first one I pulled, I traded away. Um, and it's a card dig. You guys know card dig. Um, Death Door promos from the events, Lightning Bolt promo from uh, Team Covenant, Bone Ravel from the store kit. We got Blizzard here, which is the corrected summer version, the corrected summer blink, our Sorcerer, Color Out of Space, Cloud City, Rebel that are both um, promos from Dust Rewards. We have another Death Door there. We also have the Misprint Arid Desert. So if you can kind of see it's backwards. Uh, so we have two of those. We have a whole sheet, Headless Haunts, um, and a whole additional sheet of Headless Haunts, and the starting of an additional sheet. So you guys can see how much early Team Covenant stuff I've I've purchased just from from that. Now let me let's get into the big boys here. Let's get into the big boys. I wheel this chair away so I don't start to destroy things. We got one of these guys. You guys are familiar with this? This is a death curio. The contested realm is the art through it, obviously. So we got one of those. We got two of the Rudy promos. Okay, we got definitely want those promos. Okay, we got a Shifting Sands Curia. You probably guys remember when I pulled that. Pulled a Summer Sea Raider. I'm going to send off for grading. Or those are short printed. We got a West East Dragon Curio. Got the Adept Illusionist Curio. Got a couple more foil Death Speaker Pathfinder. Just send it off for grading. We've got this lovely PSA 10 graded uh, Onyx Core. We've got another backstab here. This one's a summer version, slabbed as a nine. We've got a PCG 9.5 foil Amethyst Core. Pretty awesome. Oh, what else do we got? Oh yeah, these ones are fun. These ones are fun. So we got a Champion Beta Promo. So this comes in one in every store kit. You get one of these. And uh, they're pretty hard to find, to be honest. So I, I did want to snag one, and I did want to slab it. Um, I also have a champion promo from Alpha. I'm just kind of showing you guys, even though this isn't a part of beta. I would consider this a part of beta. This is definitely not. We also have an additional curio. Guile Sirens. Um, see if you can see the foiling on that. It's it's beautiful, beautiful card. Um, I just got that back from ECG. OK, 
Okay, and a uh, little frame of a jig we got, if you guys remember pulling this on the channel here, Far East Assassin Curio. Last but not least, uh, you guys may have noticed there was a missing slot in the binder, and uh, that missing slot's actually this one. I have the foil uh, philosopher stone in this uh, frame of a jig as well. I don't think I'm missing anything else. However, whenever I tell you guys that I'm, I'm hoarding, um, I'm hoarding foil avatars. I mean, I have here in the stack just one of every possible type of avatar. These ones are all foil betas, um, just to have as an addi additional play. Um, I have some in my wall over here, and I have some additional ones in storage and out for grading at the moment. So, uh, let me see here. And then, of course, we got a full play set of additional Amazon Warriors. You just got to have that, right? So that about does it, folks. Um, I do have a Siren Templar curio on its way to me. Um, I'm in the process of sending some of these things out for grading at the moment, such as um, anything that is in a top loader, not a top loader, card saver like these, um, I will be sending out for grading. And eventually, I'm going to send all the curios out for grading with PCG. Um, I happened to pick this one up uh, because a PSA 10 is, a, I mean, a PSA 10 is a PSA 10, but I've kind of started shifting and sending everything to PCG. Why? Well, partly because the car, the case and the slab is better. It's better quality. Um, I mean, the, I love the fact that it gives you the categories. PSA doesn't do that. Um, the other thing, they uh, inner sleeve it before putting it in the before putting it in the slab but the last reason that I, I use PCG is because let's say you send something like this to PSA at the $20 category right PSAs when they when they take a look at it and come back and grade it as a 9 or a 10 they're gonna upcharge you because they'll say hey the value of that cards like 800 bucks so you owe us more money um, PCG doesn't do that to you and PCG will grade any value card and they won't they won't hold you hostage. I always get leery and sending stuff in the mail, which is kind of why I have, have not shipped this one in for grading yet just because you know, it's if you lose this guys, you know how much this thing costs. So this this one in particular, I'm just, you know, a little leery and same with the Far East. The Far East is is a pretty pricey one as well. So Thanks for checking out my, my video and enjoying the collection here with me. This is the first time that I've actually gone through and showed you guys any type of collection of cards I have. Um, you know, I, I have, I'll, I'll show you guys one more thing. PCG does player slabs, and this is, uh, this is not a promotion for PCG, but I, I do love these things. And in certain cases, like with avatars, I plan on slabbing them in these player slabs. So this is my Gandalf 14 out of 100, and it is uh, pristine 10 PCG in a player slab. So this is this is one of my one of my top pieces. And all these are now going back into the vault if they're not on display behind me. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out, and we'll talk to you all later.